Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here, we discuss prevalence and mechanisms of mucus accumulation in COVID-19 lung disease by researchers from the USA. Mucus is mostly made of the glycoprotein mucin. Although mucin protects against severe viral infection by facilitating the removal of viral particles from the airway and preventing the virus from binding to receptors in the lung tissue, excessive mucin production can lead to mucus buildup and airway obstruction. The pattern of mucin production and mucus buildup in patients with COVID-19 remains underexplored. In a recently published study, a group of researchers from the USA investigated mucus accumulation in COVID-19 autopsy lungs using histology staining techniques, RNA in situ hybridization, and spatial transcriptional profiling. The study revealed that 93% of lungs infected with SARS-CoV-2 have mucus accumulation in the distal airways, with over 50% of airways exhibiting this finding. These same airways expressed elevated levels of MUC5B, but not MUC5AC. These findings suggest that the pathological process at play in COVID-19 is activating pathways associated with mucoobstructive diseases, not T2 inflammatory pathways that typically lead to MUC5AC expression. Microcysts were identified in 88% of lungs in the chronic phase of COVID-19, and 60% of microcysts exhibited mucus accumulation. These structures also expressed elevated levels of MUC5B but not MUC5AC. Mucin concentrations were highest in the lungs from which the viral infection had recently cleared. When examined using 16S RNA probes, 67% of COVID-19 lungs had positive bacterial signatures in a pattern that suggests association of the bacteria with accumulated mucus. Finally, SARS-CoV-2 infection was found to induce the activation of epidermal growth factor receptor or EGFR ligands and inflammatory cytokine in human bronchial epithelial cultures, suggesting the role of these mucin gene regulators in the overproduction of mucin. Blockade of EGFR or IL-1R and treatment with dexamethasone all inhibited mucin expression in human bronchial epithelial cell cultures. These findings indicate that drugs that reduce mucin production or promote the removal of excessive mucus may serve as effective therapeutics for COVID-19 lung disease, especially during the subacute phase, as mucin hyperexpression was found to peak 7 to 14 days after infection. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Takafumi Kato and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.